Brendan, um, disappointed, I'm assuming, uh, the, with the result, but uh, when you came into bat, was there a sense of freedom that no matter what happened today, that you're done with the Zimbabwe career, and which probably led to your 138 today? Um, uh, at being uh, two down pretty early, it, there was uh, a sense of trying to restore things, and that was my goal, and uh, it was pretty tricky. They bowled really well, uh, and then then it sort of just sort of fall into, fell into place a little bit. But uh, I said to myself when I walked out today just to go and enjoy the moment and, uh, and not put myself under too much pressure, and maybe that just helped a little bit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Brendan, uh, like the innings that you played today, like if there is, if there is a possibility that if, if an IPL franchisee offers you a deal, will you re rethink the coal pack agreement? Like, if you get paid as much, probably, do you think you will rethink your coal pack agreement and come back to Zimbabwe cricket because they need you more than anything else? Yeah. Well, my contract's already uh, in, in, in the process of being signed, so um, I don't think I can move backwards on that. Um, but uh, in terms of IPL, I haven't even thought that far ahead. Um, you know, uh, that's totally out of my control. If they pick me up, they pick me up. That's great. But, uh, um, I, yeah, I just take it one day at a time, and I've got a lot to do when I get home to, to plan a visa to England. And so I, I think that's, that's already been cemented. And, uh, um, but uh, anything else that came my way, I'd be, be grateful enough to, to consider that for sure. Uh, Brendan, uh, you thought that uh, your team would have uh, scored a bit more, I mean, 30, 40 odd run more. And uh, what would you say about the send up you got from the huge Indian crowd here, fans here, and the Indian players? Yeah, thank you. Uh, it was testament to their, their cricket knowledge. I think they just appreciate good cricket, and they, they saw two teams playing some pretty entertaining stuff today. So um, obviously, they. We knew who they were supporting, but um, the, they clapped when, when we, we, we put on a decent show. So that was always nice to see. Um, and uh, yeah, I was, I was very, very overwhelmed and, and uh, the way they, they responded, and uh, I'm very appreciative for that. You know, the wicket was a little bit too paced in the morning, um, along with some very good bowling, but um, we're heading for, for 310, 320, maybe 330. And again, that's been the the way it's gone for us throughout the tournament um getting finding some momentum and then collapsing so uh, that's been very disappointing for us um and it's probably been the difference of of not a, not a quarter final uh, a spot so um we'll go away very very disappointed but uh, there's a lot of positives we can take out this, of this tournament brendan at, at what stage in the innings india innings did you, did you think that you had a chance to win this and are you disappointed with your fielding Yes, um, we've been disappointed throughout. Uh, we've dropped far too many catches, uh, probably more than double more than, than the, the second most drops from any other team. So uh, I thought um, that obviously the Suresh Rana drop was, was crucial. Um, yes, they can bat pretty deep with Jadeja and, uh, and Ashwin, but um, that could have been a little bit more pressure on, on MS and, uh, and who knows what can happen. We, we know how, how good he is batting with his, his tailenders in, in the past. But um, yeah, it, uh, it just shows if, if, um, if you're going to drop a guy and he goes on to get 100, it's always going to be difficult to win the game. Brendan, you've played against uh, Pakistan and South Africa. You might have seen Australia and New Zealand. How does the Indian team look? Ah, they, they've, geez, they've been... They've been exceptional, obviously, uh, to finish top of their log. I don't think they've had too many close encounters. They've been pretty co convincing in their victories. Um, they've been playing a lot of cricket, so uh, they've got some, some good momentum on their side. Um, so uh, I think they'll, they'll look at it as a, a one game at a time now, and their main focus will obviously be the quarterfinals and uh, being top of their, their log. Uh, maybe they've got a, a fairly easy game, but uh, you don't want to take anyone lightly in this tournament. Um, but they've certainly got the players to go all the way and, and win it. They've won it before, so they know what that feels like. Um, Brendan, very well played over here. Yeah. Do you reckon that's the best you've battered in one-day cricket? Um, I think so. Uh, I'd like, yeah. Um, but if you're not going to win, uh, if you're going to get 100 and, and, and not win, then it doesn't feel so, so sweet. But um, I guess 100 in the World Cup is always pretty special. So 
Um, but yeah, I think in terms of their bowling attack and um, and what they provide, uh, they made it very difficult. So to to come to get through the difficult periods and push on and get a hundred, that was that was a great feeling. So um, it's definitely up there. But uh, unfortunately, it's in another losing course. Um, Brendan, what do you think you'll miss most about being an international cricketer? Um, I have to be wearing this red shirt of mine. Uh, that's every, I guess, every international player's dream is to put on their their, their country shirt. So uh, that's why we play the sport. We're lucky enough, we're privileged enough to do that. And uh, now I'll certainly miss that. I'll miss my my teammates, the camaraderie uh, that we have amongst each other, the the good times, uh, the bad times we go through. That's all part of it. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's been 11 years of. Been, I've had it for 11 years and I've, uh, I wouldn't change that for anything. It's been some special times and uh, through good and bad. Brendan how, Brendan, how did the Nottingham deal come about and have you thought of the possibility of representing England because you will qualify to do so after three years? Um, I'm not aware of qualifying after three years. I, I, I don't, uh, I didn't, I thought it was longer than that, but uh, I... I got in contact with uh, uh, Claude Henderson. Got in contact with me uh, a number of months back, and uh, uh, he knew some names out there, and uh, he, he put my name forward, and he just said it's nice to have an option and a plan B, and so that was the thinking behind it. And uh, Knots were very proactive in, in getting hold of me and uh, and making it work. So uh, yeah, I just want to go there and, uh, and focus on on one year at a time, and. Uh, do my three years as well as I can, and uh, if that it gets extended, uh, then so be it. But um, I'm not planning too far ahead. I want to go there and, and start well and settle my family down and, uh, and move forward. Uh, Brendan, uh, when you were finally dismissed for 138, uh, the Indian fielders seemed to run up to you and uh, you know, tell you some messages. And also when you went off the, off the field, uh, it seemed pretty emotional, you know, hugs from your teammates and the rest of the management, etc. What was said in those moments and also what happened after uh, the match ended, you know, the kind of messages you got from your teammates and management? Yeah, it was uh, it was nice from from some of the Indian guys and uh, uh, Shikhar uh, Virat and uh, Suresh came up to me and um, you know, that was uh, that really was quite touching for me. You know, they didn't have to do that. Um, they're, they're very established players and they they were yeah that was uh, you know, a very nice very nice touch that they did. And then obviously my teammates uh, just wished me well and thanked me for the little bit that I contributed and. Uh, but it's it's all been with them, and it's been uh, enjoyable doing it with them. So, uh, um, yeah, it was it was pretty tough tough to to swallow that, but uh, yeah, it was a good feeling in a way.